Well, history has been made again. Kevin McCarthy is the first House Speaker to be ousted from his position. All I could say is, you played yourself. Some of you may remember while I was covering the 15 rounds of shenanigans it took to get him into the seat in the first place, I said this. The leaders of Congress is not Kevin McCarthy. It's the far right. The way far right. And you did that. Congratulations. They now hold Kevin McCarthy hostage for the next two years and can shut everything down with just one motion to vacate. Essentially, anytime they don't like something Kevin McCarthy does, they can shut down Congress one person and they all have to go through a vote again. And the reason I said that is because what Kevin McCarthy had offered at the time to lower the threshold to bring up a move to force a vote on ousting the House Speaker down to just one member, a change from a threshold of five members that was revealed in a House Rules package over New Year's weekend. So while Kevin McCarthy tweeted yesterday to bring it on, Congress basically responded with, Oh, it's already been brought in. <clears throat> so, yeah. At the end of the vote, an unidentified Republican yelled loudly, Now what? Considering this has never happened in the House of Representatives before. Who are you asking? If you're the one who's actually working in this place and you don't know what the hell is going on, who do you expect to know? Now what is the question we should be asking? Now what? Don't get me wrong. I didn't want to see Kevin McCarthy as speaker either. And neither did the Democrats, considering not one of them voted to save his ass. But the question of now what remains? I just feel dirty. Because even though I hated Kevin McCarthy too, the fact that Matt Gates is so excited, getting his way, probably has like a little power trip going on, makes me feel sick. I guess McCarthy's biggest mistake was saying he's the adult in the room. Because as we all know, Matt Gates likes him a lot younger than that. What a shit show. Thank you, Republicans. For a party that really isn't too friendly to Latinos, they sure have no problem turning our government into a telenovela. As usual, I'll be commenting on things as they unfold. So tune in with me on the next episode of Republicanos No Soy La Mierda. Republicans ain't shit. Anyways, bye!